Hey guys, what's up? James here. So today I'm going to show you how to force a pineapple plant to flower. So as you can see, this is my pineapple plant. It has really long, really long leaves. They're thick and they're nice and healthy. So this thing is about, so this thing is about 10 months old from just the top of a pineapple. And as you can see, I have my beautiful bromeliad over here. And one one thing is that pineapple plants are actually are actually related to bromeliads. They're related to bromeliads because they have long leaves, just like a bromeliad. And after they flower, they will produce puffs at the side of the plant right here after they flower. Same with this one. This doesn't have any puffs yet, but we're hoping it will get some puffs soon as well so yeah so the first thing you need to force your pineapple to flower is you need two apples you can use any type of apple it doesn't really matter what variety it is but first you want to take a knife and you want to cut the apple in half You want to cut it in half like that. Now, what you want to do next is you want to take the apple slices and you want to stick it in the soil around the plant. You don't need to bury it all the way down into the soil. Just bury it probably less than halfway, and that should be fine. Like so. And we'll take the other apple, and we'll cut it in half too. You can take the stem out, and then you just stick it in the soil, like so. This one will put it under the leaves. See if you can see it. Like that. Now the reason why you want to use the apple is because apples have the gases inside of them. Some sort of nutrients or gases that will force that will force a pineapple plant to flower. And I've seen many other videos of other people forcing pineapple plants to flower. They just stick the whole apple in the soil without cutting it all, cutting it at all. But that's not necessarily what you want to do. Cutting the apple in half and sticking it in the soil is the best way to go. Like that. So after I've got the apples placed around the pineapple plant, next you want to get some, some sort of plastic to put around the plant. I'm using a garbage sack because that works pretty well. I've tested it and I've tested it and it works pretty well. So you want to put it around the, on top of the plant like so. And I put these metal stakes so it can like stand up. Or just to make it easier to like put around the plant. Like this. So you could like pull these little things out, but what I usually like to do, I have this cord with two hooks like this, I can't really see it, but 
It's like that. I'm using these cords for the for the plastic bag so it will hold in place. Like so. Like that. So in about a few weeks or several weeks, the apples will start to like they will start to release those gases called called ethylene and it will spread around the plant and you don't want it to like leak out otherwise it's not gonna work so that so there's the pineapple plant and in about several weeks like maybe seven to eight weeks it should start flowering and producing a pineapple so this is how you do it so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.